This is Catherine. We have a special guest. Walking Jim Stoltz, welcome. Hi, nice to be here. Jim has walked, what is it, over 28,000 miles now in yeah, the wilderness? Yeah, it's adding up. <laughs> <laughs> adding up. Last summer I did a uh, wonderful 500-mile trek through um, some of the ranges in eastern Nevada. It was very, very inspiring. Yeah. And was that a place you hadn't been before? Well, there was a few ranges I'd been in, but it had been like 20 years or more. So Sorry. I got to go back and see that country again. And has it changed? Well, it's still lonesome country. Yeah, it, yeah I, I went one 10-day stretch without seeing any people at all. Not a whole lot of people out in that country. Yeah. So you walk through the wilderness every year and, and take photographs and write songs. Yeah, and, and that's, then... that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So, somebody has to somebody do it. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I... I've been doing the long walks for 36 years now. Wow. And it's just become, I never planned to still be doing it, but it's become such a way of life. And all the, all the things that I do, my songwriting, my photography, my painting, my writing, I mean, everything comes from the time in the wild places. Yeah. And so, and it's also everything I do, I guess, is trying to instill some awareness about those wild places and stir people to get out there and establish some some connection or something. Can you sing a song for us? Sure. In fact, um, let me sing a song that I wrote last summer. When the snow melts off the mountain and the flowers come to bloom My heart's feeling big as a grand Nevada moon My mind starts to wander to some place I've never seen I don't have to know, I've been there in my dreams If anybody should ask me if that's an answer to be found I tell I'm over the mountains, across the deserts, any place wild, that's where I'm bound, where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Over the mountains, across the deserts, any place wild, that's where I'm bound. Is songwriting a, a conscious effort for you? Do you have to sit down, or do they just come to you when you're out? You know, it really depends. Um, a lot of times I'll be walking along, and, and most of these songs are written in the backcountry on these long wilderness treks. And sometimes I'll, I'll just get a song in my head, like that one. Um, it started, I think, the second or third day of the trip. And I saw a mountain that I was going to be going over in uh, several days uh, ahead of me. And I, I thought, oh, that's where I'm bound. And I just started singing the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of, kind of came. And then there's some other songs that have taken uh, several days or a week. Or there's some that might take a couple months of just working on a little bit here and a little bit there. and. Yeah. Eventually, they become songs. <laughs> so you were talking earlier about helping people to find that connection to nature. And I'm curious, how, how did you first find that? Is it, was there some event in your childhood or upbringing? Well, I think a lot of, a lot of it was um, being able to spend time outside as a kid. You know, I, we had a big open field a couple doors down from our house and we had this big park across the street um my parents took us camping 
Uh, I was a Boy Scout. We mm-hmm. spent time outside doing that. And then my grandparents um, lived on this lake up in the uh, northern part of lower Michigan. Ah. And I would spend summers with them and miles and miles of forest to just roam around in. And for a kid, um, it was just like this big playground. And so I could just, I'd just go out and I got very comfortable as a, as a kid wandering around the woods by myself and, and being able to find my way around. And uh, so I guess all that kind of added to, to my connection to, yeah. the, to the land. And to, in today's world, um, children don't tend to have that opportunity to, to spend time outside and there's such a obsession mm-hmm. with being safe and yeah. um, it, it, it kind of doesn't allow for children to, to play outside and, and um, which I think is really sad. Yeah. Did you ever get lost? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody asked Dan, Daniel Boone if he'd ever been lost before and he, he goes, Yes, I've been lost. Uh, well, you know, he said, I've never been lost, but I've been a might bewildered. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I've been a might bewildered also. And But, you know, I when I'm hiking, I, of course, I have everything I need on my back. Yeah. And so I don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, and I, I remember as a kid being worried about it when I didn't know exactly where I was. But... Um, Usually I would find my way. Never had to spend the night. No. Outside. No. Well, we're talking with Walkin' Jim Stoltz from Montana. I wanted to ask you, you've done so much walking through uh, largely tra- untrailed areas and a lot of unprotected areas. Mm-hmm. And what kind of changes have you seen over those 30 some years? You know, and have more areas become protected? Have some been lost as it were well that's what originally got me uh, activated I guess was seeing the loss of wild places Mm -hmm. and yeah I think we're definitely losing our wild places but um, like Nevada just last year passed a wilderness bill and a lot of new additions to the wild places the protected wild places out there and so um washington just got one too did they yeah oh it's probably been a couple years yeah yeah. so we are protecting some of our wild places and but i don't think we can help but lose headway on our natural areas and you know the more and more people more pressure and it's just making what we have protected it more valuable I think so mm-hmm. yeah so I and my focus lately has been you know I've always been focused on protecting land and water quality and and, and, and wildlife but um, my focus lately has been on climate change issues and uh-huh. trying to get people kind of thinking about that because it's really going to make everything else not seem really important relevant really if, mm-hmm. if if we can't um stop the, the, the or at least mitigate some some of the changes that are going on you have another song for us here's another new song actually from last summer um and this is in my show with with photos um from last summer walking jim stones I'm just a simple man Walking my way Finding my strength In the land There are places That have made me And some that have saved me I get out there When I can There are 
Racers of the heart, they stir up some ancient call And they sing to the soul Lift us up when we start to fall This is my song For the beauty and the wonder And the glory of the wide open spaces This is my song For the last wild places Sometimes I find hope Whispered on the wind Slipping through the silver sunned sage Or in a canyon wall's twisted lines A weather by time Still singing strong through the ages There are places of the heart They stir up some ancient call And they sing to the soul Lift us up when we start to fall This is my song For the beauty and the wonder And the glory of the wide open spaces This is my song For the last wild places Be the people who follow Touch the sacred and walk a new way And the children of tomorrow Listen to what the earth has to say This is my song For the beauty and the wonder And the wisdom of the wide open spaces This is my song For the last wild places This is my hope For the last wild places my prayer for the last wild places. I'm all choked up. <laughs> Walking Jim Stoltz. That, your songs just, um, I feel them singing in my heart, you know? Oh, <laughs> That's one I want to learn. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, that one means a lot. Well, they all mean a lot, of course. <laughs> yeah, I I, I, uh, I do a lot of my show in the dark, so the star of the show is the land. People are watching the exactly. images, and um, they can't really see me, which is good. I, I want them to focus on the land, and I think it's good sometimes, too, because I'm... Sometimes I'm singing, and I've just got tears rolling down my cheeks, <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> And uh, yeah, it means a lot. I, I, uh, I, I, I call them love songs. Exactly. And yeah. they, they really are. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about your show. I mean, because when I hear you sing, because I've seen you perform with your slides, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing these beautiful images in my mind, and there's, it's hard to convey to you people out there in radio land. The music is beautiful, but when you see it with the photographs, it's a complete extra dimension that's just hard to describe. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, and I've been traveling for 24 years with that show. And, uh, and in the last 22 years, I've been doing school performances. And going into the into schools and taking the pictures and the songs to the kids. And I have these really fun songs that kids can sing along on and howl along on and squeak along on mm -hmm. and everything, you know. And so it's really fun and trying to get the kids interested in spending more time outside. Yeah. Do you get letters from those kids? You oh, yeah. That? In fact, I 
yesterday in Vancouver, I got a big stack of letters from before I left the school, and uh-huh. so it was fun to read them last night. Very heartwarming. Yeah. Yeah, it's really neat. So 24 years, and are you tired of it yet? Well, at the moment, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You've been I, on the road for several months. Right? Yeah, I've been on the road for two over two months now, and so I'm a little road weary, but yeah. I, I love it. I, I love sharing with people, sharing the the beauty of nature and and uh, I get to meet a lot of interesting folks too mm-hmm. and so that's a, a real joy for me but I am looking forward to going home and um, I'll be home for a while like a month or so and then I'll be out walking for the summer <laughs> where are you going this summer well, I'm doing a couple hikes uh, one one is about 180 or 200 miles. It's a big loop in central Montana. It's actually a new trail called the Sacred Door Trail. Mm. And um, and then I'll I have to go to a, a wedding in Michigan. And then when I get back from that, I'll head out and do a longer loop uh, in Montana somewhere. Uh huh. Yeah. So what's um. You just plan on doing this as long as you can. Do you have any any other no pie other in the plan. sky ideas for the future? <laughs> no other plan. Um, as you know, I I went through throat cancer a couple of years ago, and yeah. um, I uh, am so blessed in that I still can sing and still yeah. can get out there and walk and 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 do my thing and and I I can't really picture anything I'd rather be doing except for spending time in the backcountry and and then traveling around and getting to people to think about that (laughs) backcountry do do you think that time that you've spent there really helped you to get through the illness oh yes yes in fact um Going through chemo and radiation is the t- most terrible thing. It's just this icky feeling. And the radiation, that was five days a week for, for seven weeks. Mm-hmm. And they would bolt me down to this table so that I couldn't move and have this kind of claustrophobic mask on. And, and then this noise would start out. Oh, it's just, and half the time I was feeling nauseous from the yeah. other thing. And oh, it was terrible. But as soon as that, They'd bolt me down. I would start picturing these places that I'd been uh-huh. walking, you know, and I'd, I'd kind of go there. And then after a couple of weeks, I started picturing this other place that I I didn't know where it was, but it was like this this ridge line, and and it had this little open meadow on it, and and uh, I would just go to this imaginary place, and then. Like six months later, I was walking the Idaho-Montana state line after I'd gone through all the treatments and everything was looking good. And I did this 460-mile walk along the Idaho-Montana state line. And my last day, as I was coming to the Canadian border, I'm walking this ridge. There's no trail. But I came into this little meadow, and I just realized that that was the place oh my. that I'd been imagining wow. when I was going through the treatments. And, oh, man, I just, tears rolled I can imagine. down my face and chills went up my spine and this burst of joy. I mean, it was just an incredible mix of emotions. It was just amazing. But, yeah. What I found, an amazing I story. Found the place. Wow. So you plan to go back there? I will. Yeah. I will. There's a lot of places I want to go back to. Can you do another song for us? I would love to do another song for you. Let me do this one. <laughs> Walking Jim Stoltz. A 
song was like a thread woven in the string, twisted and tied to everything. A time has shown nothing stands alone, all nature in it sings. The clouds barrel up and the rain falls down, feeds the rivers ocean bound. Each wayward stream flows forth a dream, an endless dancing song. It's a circle of life for a living. It's a circle every which way. There's a lesson there for the given. So go on and give it away. It's a planet of blue with islands of green. Shares this life and all it means. Each death and birth brings to this earth a whole circle coming clean. It's a circle of life for a living. It's a circle every which way. There's a lesson there for the given. So go on and give it away. Takes a seed and away she blows Or where she stops and nobody knows Until she's bound to a little piece of ground And the life within her grows It's a circle of life for a living It's a circle every way to be But there's a lesson there for the given To go on and give it away It's a circle of life for a living It's a circle every way to be a lesson there for the given So go on and give it away Go on and give it away Go on and give it away so Where did you write that song? Do you remember? Circle of Life, let me think You know, I, I think it was in the middle of Nevada on another trip, actually um, back in 95 I did a walk in central Nevada, several of the ranges there. You had talked, I thought, at one time. You did the, the Yellowstone to Yukon mm-hmm. walk. And did you ever make it up to Anwar? Yes. You did? Yeah, I've actually been up there twice. Uh-huh. Um, and, yeah, I, uh, I dream about going back. Both of the trips up there were river trips that I did. Mm. And uh, I dream of going back and doing a, a walking uh, trip uh-huh. because I found that the, the hiking from, from the rivers was really incredibly beautiful. Now, when you're on the road, you're driving a special van. Oh, I yeah. I ask you about that. Yeah, I'm driving a van that runs on used vegetable oil. It's a diesel, and I, I started on diesel, but once the engine's hot, I switch it to the the, the, the straight vegetable oil so that it uh, it's not polluting as I'm dri- driving all the miles <laughs> that yeah. I put on and and it does smell like french fries <laughs> <laughs> let me do this one this is also from my show I've been um, collecting animal stories as I tour People come up and tell me their stories after the shows. And uh, here's a song that deals with uh, kind of celebrating the uh, the other earthlings that share this planet with us. Yeah. It's called Oh What a Life. Flying free, he's calling out to me. What can I tell him as the big trees fall? And he slips on through the cracks. Oh, I can't turn my back. His kind is our kind, and the writing's on the wall. This world through the eyes of those who keep sharing when there's nothing left to give. If we can walk 
this land with respect for all. Oh, and a life we could live. A salmon swimming deep, her destiny to keep. How can you tell her she's the last of her kind? Oh, a thousand times around, from the sea to the spawning ground. What a cost, oh, what a loss to all memory. And no time We can see this world Through the eyes of those Who keep sharing When there's nothing left to give And we can walk this land With respect for all Oh, what a life we could live Howling in the night She knows there's a lesson coming soon Just how big is the heart of humankind Won't you stand back and give her room If we could see this world Through the eyes of those Sharing when there's nothing left to give If we could walk this land With respect for all Oh, what a life we could live Oh, what a life we could live Oh, what a life we could live If we could walk this land with respect for all Oh, what a life we could live Oh, what a life we could live Oh, what a life we could live That's a great song to close with. Thank you very much. Thank you, Walk and Jim Stoltz. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Life we could live. If we could walk this land with respect for all. Oh, what a life we could live. <laughs>